everyone, so today we are looking at lead code number 237, delete a node in a linked list. Um, so this question is, is uh, kind of a trick question. It's one of those things that I think is just important to remember of, of the importance of sometimes thinking as simply as possible and not overcomplicating things as the solution to this question is actually quite very, very simple. Okay, so let's take a look at the prompt. Write a function to delete a node in a singly linked list. You will not be given access to the head of the list. Instead, you'll be giving access to the node to be deleted directly. It is guaranteed that the node to be deleted is not a tail node in the list. You can see here we have 4519419. Here we have 4519 and we have 459. Okay. So we're not given the head of the list. So here we have 4519. So let's take a look here. We're going to have uh, 451 and 9. And we want to remove, we want to remove the 5. Okay, so we want to return, set it over here, 4, 1, 9, right? And we're not given the head. We're not given this head node here. We're just going to be given 5. And so how do we delete this node? Because we don't have a reference to the previous. There's no reference to this previous node, so how do we do this? Okay, so it's actually quite simple. All we want to do here is go ahead and create a reference to the next node. Okay, so uh, at this 5, the next node is going to be 1. Okay, or I'm sorry, we want to create a reference to the next dot next. So this 9 over here, okay. And all we want to do here is change the value of this 5 to this 1 right over here. So this is going to be 1. And then we're just going to have next point to 9. Okay, so this will then equal 4, which will point to 5, which will point, I'm sorry, 4, which will point to 1, which will point to 9. Okay, really, really easy to do. Um, it's a constant time and space operation. Okay, our, our time complexity here will be constant. And our space complexity will also be constant because we're not creating any new space relative to the input. And we're not, we're not iterating over anything either. All we're doing is just changing the current node, our input node's value to the next node's value and setting the next value to the next dot next. That's all we're doing here. Okay, so really, really easy to, to do this if we just think outside of the box. But again, when we see this in the wild, it's very easy to think, well, if we don't have the previous node, how can we delete a node, right? So it is a bit of a trick question in that way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have our current node, okay? So we're going to first thing we want to do is have a reference to our next node so we can say let next equal node dot next uh, dot next okay let uh, our current node node dot val is going to equal node dot next dot val and node.next is going to equal next. Okay, and that's all we have to do. We don't have to even return anything. We just modify this node in place. Okay, so we can run that. And that solves it. Okay, so that is lead code number 237. It's just an important question to, to know if you get frustrated on it. It's, it's just really thinking outside of the box. Sometimes when you run into a problem like this, it's just, it's just really testing your ability to think outside of the box. Okay? You can see it's not a favorite one. You can see how many thumbs down 
this question got. So uh, people apparently don't like it, but I thought it's a fun one to do. Uh, okay, so that is LeetCode 237. Delete a node and a link list. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.